Hi everybody, how are you? I am Dana Lavoie, so happy to be here with you live on Facebook this afternoon. And um, I'm here today for a couple of reasons. So first of all, if you don't know me, I am Dana Lavoie and I'm an acupuncturist and herbalist. I help femin women feel amazing during and after menopause using customized Chinese herbs supported by the best diet and lifestyle for their hormones. Um, I find that this combination is particularly uh, effective for hormonal woes and vital aging. And uh, it just so happens, I'm in kind of an exciting weekend right now because I have an online program, which if you want to work with me on customized Chinese herbs and really experience the full power of Chinese herbal remedies, then um, I have an online program that allows you to do that. And it is an open for enrollment um, until tomorrow at tomorrow at midnight or no, Sunday, through Sunday, um, through the 31st, through May 31st, and then it's closing down and I'm gonna be working closely with a new group of students for a few months and no one else will be able to get in. So if you're the least bit interested in that, um, check it out. But I'm also here today to answer your questions. So if you're here, please pop in the comments and say hi, let me know your name, where you're from, and I'm happy to answer questions on any topic that you have. That's one of the reasons I just love coming live on Facebook. Um, and so while I'm waiting for you guys to, to bring me some questions, I wanted to share something with you, and I think I know how to do it on my screen here. Um, and this is what it is. It's a little quiz that is on the uh, course information page for my online herbs course. And I'm not sure if you guys have seen this. And it's just a simple way to get a general sense of whether the course might be right for you. And if it might be, then you want to look deeper. If you want to contact me, we can chat, we can figure out if it would be a good match or not. Um, but I wanted to kind of go through this with you. And the idea is that you just go through and you check off all the boxes that would apply to you in the yes column and then in the no column. Um, and then you can kind of tell if this is something that would be good for you. So let's look at the no column first because there are some people that the course is just not going to be a good match for and I definitely don't want you in there if it's not going to be a great experience. So the first one is if you live outside the United States. So I actually tried doing a previous version of the course with international shipping for the herbs and it was really frustrating for people and the last Thing I want is for you to get in the course and feel frustrated. I want it to be a pleasant and you know easier than you ever expected and more wonderful experience um, from start to finish, from learning about the herbs to getting to the herbs to taking the herbs. And if you live outside the United States, I just cannot guarantee that in terms of shipping. So at this time, I recommend that you um, only enroll if you are within the United States, including Alaska and Hawaii and Puerto Rico, or you have a mailing address there. Or if you're a man. Now, Sure, some of the herbs in the course are also used for men a lot, but um, the course is designed for women's bodies and women's hormones and everything in it is balanced to optimize those. Plus the community that we have is really, really tight and open and honest and people give each other so much support and feedback and share so much about their journey and what they're going through. And it's easier to have those kinds of really open discussions in a community about hormones where it's all women. So this is a group of all women. Um, if you are on, sorry, a blood thinner medication, then you would not want to sign up for the course. You really need to work one-on-one -on -one with an herbalist. If you're on a blood thinner, um, an anti-seizure medication with a seizure disorder or an antipsychotic medication. Now, most other medications, it's no problem. Like if your doctor is like, yeah, you can take your medication and drink chamomile tea and peppermint tea and valerian tea and any kind of herbal tea you want, likely there's not going to be a problem. Of course, Inside the program, I show you exactly how to be sure of that, but um, it's not usually a problem. All right, and you guys, if you joining me now, if you have any questions, I am happy to just take a break and answer your questions. You can ask me questions about anything. I love chatting with you in the comments, so bring them on. And if you're watching the replay, feel free to post your comments as well um, and your questions, and I'll get back to you with answers. So another reason that you would not want to sign up for the course right now is if you are, this is my online program on how to use Chinese herbs. I'm going to be June 1st, I'm going to be starting working with closely with a new group of students for a few months 
just helping them experience the full power of Chinese herbal remedies. If you are interested in doing that with me, you can um, enroll in the program through the 31st, through Sunday, and then that's it. It's closing down. So if you're the least bit curious, don't wait to check it out or contact me for a chat. But another reason you wouldn't want to enroll right now is if you're currently undergoing active chemotherapy treatment for cancer, because then you just have to be careful what herbs you're taking out. You have to coordinate your herbs with your treatment, so it wouldn't be ideal for you. But for for um, otherwise, it's going to be it's pretty much it helps so many women. So the people that the course is going to be a really great yes for in the yes column here we have is if you're willing to take a little action, if it means you're really going to feel better. Because the thing about herbs is they only work if you actually swallow them. You know, just sitting in your cupboard, not going to get a big result. So you have to be willing to take them. Um, and you're in it for the long haul, right? So this course is especially designed not just to help you get rid of hot flashes, but to totally optimize where your hormones are at for healthier aging after menopause. So if that's something you're interested in, this is going to really be exciting for you. Um, and if you're done, Angela, hey, <laughs> awesome. Oh yeah, I think one of your sisters said that she had some sisters that she was going to mention this to. So Angela, if you have any questions about your particular situation, something you don't understand about what your hormones are doing or what would be helpful or not, feel free to put it in the comments. I'm so glad you're here and that we're getting to kind of meet like this. Um, and I was just saying that even though you guys are kind of new to my whole community, it just so happens that my um, program on Chinese herbs is open for enrollment right now. It's going to be closing down um, May 31st is the last day. So just a couple of more days to enroll. And then starting June 1st, I will be working with a new group of students, really helping them experience the full power of customized Chinese herbal remedies. They're pretty much the most powerful natural remedy for menopause. So if you're interested, don't wait to check it out. Otherwise, there's going to be lots more great stuff coming after that, after I'm finished talking about that in a couple of days. But today I was just going over some, this is on the course info and enrollment page. And I was just showing you this little quiz you can take to kind of rule yourself out of the program or say, maybe I should check this out. Um, and one thing I have here is you're done dabbling in supplements, right? You want a strategic way to find ones that will support your weak areas the most because not every woman needs the same kind of support for her hormones. You need a way to be able to strategically choose which ones are gonna support your weak areas and take the most of those. The course is definitely designed to do that. And when you start doing that, your results you get from what you're taking change dramatically. It's a real game changer. Um, also, if you're ready to um, sort of benefit from the mindset and consistency that will allow you to really reach your health goals. Like if you really want to change the way you feel, if you really want to relieve fatigue and stress and insomnia, sleep well, have abundant energy, think really clearly and you know prevent chronic pain. Like this is the kind of program that can really up-level your health. And if you're ready to get help, you know, you're already there. We're already in midlife. We're already getting kind of smart, right? We know if we sleep, we feel better. We know if we eat right, we feel better. But this will really help you to take it to the next level in terms of one, consistency and two, strategic targeted things that you're focusing on. So if you're kind of ready to do that, this is really going to make it so so much easier by helping you do it so much more efficiently. Um, and another thing is you really want to treat your hormones in a really targeted way, but you kind of want to do it at home. You don't want to be paying premium prices for one-on-one -on -one consultations and you don't want to be paying for a lot of lab work. This is one of the most advanced ways you can treat your hormones in a really strategic way that's really specific to you, that's really customized, and that changes with you over time um, at home, you know, from the comfort of your home. So it's really, really a great deal. And it's a proven system. I mean, Chinese medicine has been around for thousands of years. I've been doing this for over 15 years. Um, it just works so great. So I didn't know how many people had seen that little quiz area on the course info and enrollment page. But if you're interested, go check it out. And um, there's lots of other great information information on that page as well. Okay. So Angela says sleep is an issue. I often wake in the middle of the night. So yeah, so this, I, I can tell from your comment already that you are a good historian, right? You're paying attention to how you feel. And that's actually the first step to success with 
natural remedies and Chinese herbs in particular. So that's one of the first things I ask women when they tell me, oh, I'm having trouble sleeping. I say, do you have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep? And Angela, did your sleep trouble start recently? Is it sort of menopause related, you know, or did you have it when you were 10 years old and 15 years old and 20 years old and 25 years old? Or did it come on more recently, you know, in your 30s or 40s when your hormones started to change? Because this waking up in the middle of the night or having trouble sleeping really deeply and through the night, that is a really typical type of sleep disturbance to have in menopause that's caused by hormonal changes. It's more, it's more common to be able to fall asleep okay, but then wake up in the middle of the night. That is a typical menopausal pattern that often has everything to do with the underlying hormonal imbalance. And one thing that I find about, it seems menopausal, yeah. So it sounds like a, the, the sort of like the most common type of menopausal sleep disturbance. It starts sometime during when your hormones are changing and it's more related to waking up in the middle of the night than um, being able to fall asleep. So the thing about this, I'm gonna tell you two things about this kind of sleep disturbance. Well, the, another question I would ask would be, is it heat related or not completely? Because sometimes women say, you know, they wake up because a boiling hot flash wakes them up. They're dripping in sweat. As soon as they cool off, they go back to sleep and they feel like if I wasn't getting hot, I'd probably sleep through the night, no problem. That is a heat issue, okay? If you're having sleep troubles where you're sometimes awake and you're not hot, your sleep's just not deep, it's not restful, sometimes you have a night sweat, sometimes you don't, sometimes you lie awake for hours and you just can't sleep and you're, it's not related to heat, right? So one is a sleep issue and one is a heat issue. Um, and so that's the next question I ask is if it's more about waking up in the middle of the night, is it like 99% related to being hot or is, are you having trouble sleeping well independent of whether or not you're hot that night? So I'm guessing for you as sleep, if it, if I'm not correct and it's just about heat, let me know. But when it's the sleep issue and you just can't sleep in the middle of the night, the thing about this is it's not the most typical type of insomnia. It's specifically hormonal. It starts during menopause. It's related to hormonal changes. So if you just go out and you take a typical, yeah, you wake up and you're not hot. Okay, so this is a sleep issue. So when this happens, it's not a typical type of insomnia. Like lots of people have insomnia their whole life. It's not related to hormones and it's not related to this particular pattern. And so a lot of sleep remedies are geared towards that. You know, they just kind of knock you out. They're not addressing that underlying imbalance at all all. And it's the same with good sleep habits. I'm a huge fan of good sleep habits. I have a blog that like lists them all out in detail. Things you've probably heard before. Go to bed at the same time every night. Sleep in a dark room. Sleep in a cool room. Don't look at lit computer screens for two to three hours before bed. Take a bath. Rela you know, I was like, there's all these good sleep habits and even like taking things like melatonin would fall into this category or valerian or like sedative herbs. A lot of typical herbal remedies for sleep are melatonin like, you know, and are valerian like are supposed to help you relax and calm down. They're kind of the equivalent of taking um, a hot bath, you know what I mean? And uh, using essential oils and all that to help you just kind of relax and make that transition into sleep or, or keep your mind calm during the night. So sleep medications and all those different kinds of sleep, typical sleep remedies and sleeping pills, they all address your sleep issue, what I think of as from the outside in. They address the symptom. You're not asleep right now. Let's try to put you asleep right now, okay? And what I feel they can do is they can take the level and quality and amount of sleep you're getting, like say it's in the, you know, I don't know, three to five hour range. It could be two to four hours of actual really good sleep that you're getting per night. That's your range. All those things are going to help you be on the four hour range instead of the two hour range. But they are not going to get you out of that range to a whole different place with your sleep. Okay, that's not what they're not addressing the cause. So they're not going to change where you're at. They're just going to try to maximize what you're already getting. Now, there's nothing wrong with 
any of those kinds of things. They're good to do. You should maximize the sleep that you're getting. But I feel like it's really important to also address the underlying cause of the sleep disturbance. Now in Chinese medicine, every kind of sleep disturbance has an underlying cause. Like if you have typical insomnia, if you have trouble sleeping when you're 15 years old, I mean, there's a, you know, there's a lot of different patterns in Chinese medicine that can cause sleep, trouble sleeping. But when it happens right at menopause and it's the waking up in the middle of the night one, it tends to be this one particular pattern. And what it's called um, like a heart and kidney yin deficiency. And one thing that I like about Chinese medicine is it does not treat all sleep disturbances the same, right? This is a really particular one. It tends to happen when you also maybe feel hot sometimes. It tends to happen uh, come on later in life, right? It tends to, you know, have all these things about it that relate to menopause and hormonal changes. And it definitely tends to relate to this waking up in the middle of the night. It's not as much of a falling asleep issue. Sometimes other things that will be associated with this same pattern will be things like anxiety or heart palpitations. Certain, certainly feeling warm in flashes or in the evening could be part of it as well. Um, okay. So the way Chinese medicine looks at this is twofold. Like they always do, one, treat the symptom, two, try to treat the underlying cause. So part of your herbal combination would be like, you know, those sedative herbs, those ones to just help you maximize the sleep you're getting, to help you fall asleep at bedtime. Sure, we're going to do that. Of course, we want to try to help you get more sleep up front. But the other part of your herbal combination is going to be to address the underlying issue that's causing the sleep disturbance. And that means balancing your hormones and supporting your low hormone levels. Um, and you need to look at if stress is an issue for you, if anxiety is an issue for you, um, of course, that would need to be addressed as well. Some Sometimes with stress, the liver can become more involved, but um, it's really interesting how there's particular combinations of herbs that I find help with this type of a sleep pattern, and they're based on supporting the hormones. And it honestly usually takes about 12 weeks to kick in. It's not usually a super quick fix, but then it's like you don't need the bedtime herbs anymore. You don't need the melatonin anymore. It's like all of a sudden you're just a person who can sleep. You know what I mean? Like 80% better. It's amazing. And it's it makes you feel so much more confident about your health when you know that when you go to bed at night, you're likely to get some really good quality sleep. I mean, when you're not sleeping, it's it does a lot of bad things for your health. It makes you tired. It makes life less fun. It makes you more stressed. You don't have as much energy. It's not good for your immune system. It's not good for your digestion. Like, you know, sleep is just really important. And so being able to address that has an upward spiral of beneficial effects in our health. So that's the reason that I love Chinese medicine so much that I find that it's so powerful for women in menopause because it's sure it can absolutely help with whatever discomfort is showing up on the surface, like a hot flash or, um, you know, a sleep disturbance, but by also addressing the underlying cause. And it's different. It's not just, oh, let's give you some phytoestrogens, like take some soy. You know what I mean? No, it's very specific. Yeah, good sleep definitely affects our daily lives. Um, but, you know, so it's these really different remedies that are specific for each individual person and their stage of menopause and their stage of life. Um, and it's amazing when the herbs are customized in that way, how effective they can be. So that's why I love the Chinese herbs so much. I mean, I've had trouble sleeping at times my life and being able to do something about it and actually start relying on being able to get good sleep again, it is such a good feeling because when you can't sleep, you start to feel out of control, like how good you feel, how much energy you have, how well you can perform in your life. You just don't really have control over that if you are not able to get sleep. <laughs> you know, everything starts to go downhill. I know from experience. So um, yeah, it, it definitely sounds like your sleep disturbance is likely to be related to hormonal changes. Um, and uh, so anyway, that is awesome. Does anybody else have any questions? Let me look at my notes and see what else I wanted to cover. Um, oh yeah. So in addition to the quiz that we looked at, which kind of like rule certain people in or out as great candidates for the course or not, this is my online program in using customized Chinese herbs. Enrollment is open just through Sunday through May 31st. And then starting June 1st, I will be working closely with a whole new group of students, um, for a few months as they fully experience the power of these customized Chinese herbs and, and learn how to use them. Um, and there are three types of women who once 
once you pass the sort of yes, no in the quiz and you're like, yeah, this might be really good for me. There are three particular types of women that the course is like specifically geared towards. And so I wanted to go over what those three types were just a little bit. So the first is now this is really my secret favorite, right? When somebody comes and starts working with Chinese herbs before they really get to menopause. This is the best. Oh, so the quiz, Angela, it's it's sort of like an informal quiz. And um, let me show it to you. So it's, if you go to danalavoislaccom forward slash herbs dash course, which I meant to put in the comments and didn't, so I will um, right now. I'm typing here. So this is the course info and enrollment page. And um, hopefully that's, yeah, that's gonna show up in the comments. And, and when you scroll down a little bit on the page, you're gonna see this quiz. This is the quiz. Which boxes would you check? And you just go through. And if you would check any of these boxes in the no category, you're not a good match. You know, you should just like, go do something different. You know, um, I don't want you in the program if it's not going to be a great match. If you're checking boxes off in the left hand column, um, then there's a chance that it's really going to be aligned with exactly what you need. And especially if you're one of these three types that I'm about to go over. But so this is what it, it looks like. It says a simple formula to find out if this course is right for you, which boxes would you check? And you can go check that out on that page. And there's lots of other stuff on here too. There's um, all like, all kinds of answers to frequently asked questions. There's a video at the top that gives you a great overview of the whole thing. So I definitely recommend like really reading through that page. And there's also this ask a question, little pink peachy colored thing on that page where you can click that and send a message directly to my inbox and I would be happy to chat with you. And if you're just getting introduced to this now, you know, and you're like, this is kind of new, you know, feel free to contact me and we can set up a chat and talk one-on-one -on -one to find out if it would be a match or not. But if you go through and you don't answer any questions in the no category and you, and you check off at least two in the yes category, then there is a good uh, chance that you might be a good match. And especially if you're also one of these three types that I'm going to talk about right now who um, when I was designing the course I had specifically in mind and the first one is if you want to start using Chinese herbs and you're not even in menopause and for you guys who are joining us um, I'm Dana Lavoie I'm talking about Chinese herbs for menopause and I would be happy to just break away and answer any questions that you have it's my favorite part of doing these live videos this is your chance to Pick my brain, my 20 years of experience. I want to share it all with you so you can ask me questions about anything. If I don't know the answer, I'll tell you, but feel free to just type it in the chat so I can see your questions pop up. But when I was designing my online program on herbs for menopause, which is open for enrollment for two more days, um, the uh, three women that I had in mind that I was thinking about, the first one she hasn't started menopause, okay? She's like, you know, 25, 26, 27, 28, 32, 33. You know, she's just going along with her period the same as it's always been. But she's starting to think, you know, five years from now, in the next five years, my hormones are gonna start to change. Like in Asia, this is when women would start using herbs to ensure an easy menopause, to prevent severe menopause symptoms. And in, <laughs> If I did live in the Star Trek age, what I would do is I would take every woman who came to see me for help with menopause, put them in the little time machine, you know, pop them back to five years before menopause started and have them start taking herbs then because that is the preferred way in Chinese medicine to use Chinese herbs for menopause. So if this is you, you're just like so lucky. You are in the perfect position. You're going to start out with like a minimalist program just to make sure that your herbs are supported, that your herb, your hormone levels are high. They are topped off. They are not already low when they start to drop during menopause. You don't want them to be already low and then start to drop. You want to top them off. You want to fill up the tank before they start to drop. It's also a great time to just get a few healthy habits established, right? Get a little regular exercise, manage a little bit of stress, make sure your liver's in great shape. 
um, good sleep habits, right? But get those herbs on board to make sure your hormone levels are replenished. And this will also have the function of helping to extend fertility, which is nice, and prevent an early menopause, which is like your hair going great too early. It's an early sign of aging. It's not great. So it's a great time to start. Um, and then as you progress, you would just transition onto different herbs down the road. So that's one woman is she's not even in perimenopause yet. I love when women enter the course there. I have a super special section just for them. Um, and it helps them just kind of ease through the whole thing with just those really mild symptoms. And then where I get most women is they're like desperate with hot flashes. That's when they show up. They're already having sleep disturbance. They're already in menopause. They're already in perimenopause. They're already out of balance, they're already having discomforts. And that's fine. Um, the herbs are great because they're like the most fast acting, powerful, natural remedy for even pretty severe discomforts. Um, and so you're gonna go in and you're gonna work on balancing things and working on that underlying imbalance. So if you're just like right in the heat of it and you're pretty miserable or things are starting to get a little out of hand, there's nothing, no natural remedy that I've ever seen that works more consistently or faster or more powerfully than really customized Chinese herbs. Like if I was facing menopause, like I'm in perimenopause right now and already they've helped me so much. If I was facing the whole thing, not having herbs as a tool that I could use whenever some kind of hormonal craziness popped up, I would be so stressed out thinking like, what's gonna happen? But because I know, you know, if I get hot, if I can't sleep, if I get mood swings, if I get brain fog, like whatever, I just know I can get the right herbs and get a handle on it right away. It just makes me feel so much more confident and relaxed and in control. And like, these are going to be great years. I got plans to do a lot of fun stuff, you know? So um, I really feel like herbs are just a tool that every woman going through menopause needs to have. And that's what I'm trying to provide. Um, so if you're right in the middle of it, that's great. You just like jump in. You might have to take like a little bigger dose at first to get things back where they need to be. And then we put you on a nice maintenance dose and keep you comfy. Um, and then the other woman that I was thinking about when I designed the course was someone who's already past menopause. And even though this is sort of a course on herbs for menopause, I'm a tonic herbalist. Um, that's a, like half of my training was more traditional, but for about 10 years, I've been really studying tonic herbalism. Tonic herbalism comes from the longevity traditions of Taoism, and it's all about vital aging and feeling younger and looking younger and staying healthier for longer. So it's all about those postmenopausal years and how to maximize your health during those years. So there's a super special section in the course on creating a core customized vital aging formula that you then completely customize. Like if you have dry eyes or, you know, knee pain or whatever it is for you, you know, blood sugar support, it's just, we're going to add in for all those common sort of signs of aging that show up. We're going to work um, specifically on that. Plus on your, you love tonic herbalism. So many people haven't even heard of it. So Angela, are you familiar with like radiant health and the Jing Chi Shen sort of candle analogy is that something that's familiar to you um, I'm so I'm so curious I love talking about tonic herbalism because it's one of my real passions if you are already past menopause don't worry about like not taking advantage of the earlier parts of the course because the part for the postmenopausal stuff is so extensive it is a hundred percent worth it so if for anyone does anyone else here heard of tonic herbalism please put in the comments and let me know if you've heard of tonic herbalism um, I'll tell you a tiny bit about it because it definitely applies to this woman that I was thinking about when I designed the course who's already postmenopausal. So tonic herbalism is, um, there. Were, the way the story goes is that a long time ago, this was like sort of the central tenet of Chinese herbal medicine. And then thousands of years ago, at some point in history, sort of like what's happening today, there was a huge like epidemic of some kind of contagious disease. And a whole bunch of herbalists branched off and decided they were really going to put all their focus um, in medicinal herbs. So herbs for problems, herbs for diseases, herbs that are like herbal antibiotics and, you know, medicinal herbs that you take when you have a problem and you need to fix something, as opposed to the herbs that you take when you are well to prevent problems. But that sort of um, branch of herbalism continued and it became 
became this sort of Taoist longevity tonic herbalism tradition. And that is not what I learned in Chinese medical school. I learned the medicinal herbalism, but then later I went and studied the tonic herbalism. And I love the tonic herbalism. And it has this wonderful, wonderful um, analogy. So the idea of it is that with tonic herbalism, you achieve a state of radiant health. Radiant health is also called health beyond danger. And the idea is your energies are so topped off and your systems are so well regulated that no matter what kind of stress comes at you, whether it's a, a monsoon or hot weather or cold weather or a bacteria, a terrible bacteria or a virus or emotional stress or physical injury, like stress on any kind of level, any stress comes at you, your body's like, I can handle that. This is the best possible way to handle it. It's handled. Okay. And when your energy reserves are replenished in this way, this is like a quick, easy way you can tell if your energy reserves are replenished. When your energy reserves are depleted, some people call it adrenal burnout. In Chinese tonic herbalism, we call it your energy reserves are depleted. You know, you've got your schedule for the day, you've got your plan and you're, you're going along and like, you know, maybe there's traffic on the way to work and it throws off your schedule a little, you know, maybe another little thing happens, but then, you know, like, one other thing happens, right? One more problem you have to solve. One more thing you need to figure out that you weren't expecting. And it's like, that's it. You want to get back in bed, pull the covers over your head and just not have anybody ask you to figure out anything again that day. It's like, you know, no, I just, I, I'm overwhelmed, right? Like I don't want to deal. When your energy reserves are replenished, you get this feeling like when a, when something comes up, like, oh, there's construction, I have to take a different route to work, or oh, there's something wrong with my computer at work, I have to figure out a w different way to get this project done. Instead of feeling like you wanna crawl in bed and pull the covers over your head, or it could be like, you know, you're, your, your kid broke their arm or, you know, had a fight with someone at school. Like it's, it could be anything that you have to creatively problem solve and figure out that takes energy. If your energy reserves are replenished, then when something like that comes up, you're like, Oh, what an interesting challenge. I've got three ideas of how we could solve that. And because I'm thinking so clearly and calmly, I know that the second way is the best one. So here's the most efficient way to implement solution two. Like everything is just, you know, creative problem solving that you have all these resources for. And it is amazing to go through life feeling like that. I don't think that many of us feel that way. That is the goal of a radiant health. And your immune system does the same thing, right? All your systems do the same thing. When a problem arises, they just handle it without a lot of muss or fuss. Um, and another way to think of it is as a candle. So, so tonic herbalism. So for you guys who are joining me, I'm Dana Lavoie and I'm talking about um, Chinese herbs for menopause. But right now I'm talking about post-menopause. Um, I was saying that I have an online herbal program and that one of the women I designed it for was someone who's already post-menopause because I love working on healthy aging. And I'm just talking about how the herbs can do that. So tonic herbalism has this idea of Jing Qi Shen. And what that is, is the three treasures. It's the three energies that make up you. Okay. So your Jing is your energy reserves, like those reserves we were just talking about. If you were like a big fat pillar candle, okay, not fat. I didn't mean to call you fat. If you were a pillar candle, your Jing would be the wax. Okay. How is the wax? Is it tall? Is it wide? Is it well balanced? Right? Um, because say your energy reserves are depleted, it's like your candle is all melted away. It's all dripping down off on one side like this. You know, that's, that's your candle. Your energy reserves are not replenished. Now, chi, your second treasure, that is the flame. Okay? That is the flame. So think about this. One, if your energy reserves are all melted down. The flame is going to flicker. It's going to go out. It's going to get drowned in the wax. It's just, it's, or it's going to run out of wax, right? Like your energy is not going to be good. It's sort of like, you know, running a car on an empty tank of gas, right? If the, the flame is not going to burn well, if there's not enough wax in good shape. Now, another way to think of this is you can have all kinds of jing, but if you don't have enough chi, it's really, really boring. Like think of a candle that is unlit. It's all potential. 
okay? Nothing happens. Nothing happens. It gives off no light and no heat. So you need that energy to turn your jing, your energy reserves, into the energy you use for everyday life, to run, move your muscles and run your digestion and run your brain and breathe your, you know, your breaths. So the, the wax needs the chi to activate it and turn it into something, but the flame needs the candle wax to be there as potential ready to burn. Okay, so that's your jing and your chi. And then that's the one that people are most familiar with. That sort of like your adrenals, your energy reserves, your anti-aging potential, okay? And then the chi, everyone's heard of chi, that's your energy, right? That's the energy that runs your immune system and your digestive system and moves your muscles. And it's like the energy that you use for everyday stuff. It's your energy, right? But then there's shen. Shen in tonic herbalism, is really the ultimate goal. Like the reason we work so much on Jing and Qi is so that Shen will be powerful. But sometimes in America, you know, people Shen like, or they don't think about it that much. Shen is the light from the candle. Jing is the wax, Qi is the flame, Shen is the light. And the goal is to shine a bright and even steady light illuminating the world, right? That is your emotional and spiritual well-being, your creativity, your work in the world, your leadership potential, how you show up for people in your life. That is your physical and, I mean, your emotional and mental and creative well-being, right? And the work that you do in the world. So that is your Shen, and that's actually the goal of why we work so much and get in the Jing and the Qi in good shape so that you can have wonderful Shen. It kind of shows up in, you know, the sparkliness of your eyes, right? So that's Jing Chi Shen. So tonic herbalism, you always are taking herbs that address all three. Now it could be in one herbal formula, a combination of herbs in one formula. There's even one or two herbs that address all three treasures in one herb. But you always, even if you're focusing, you know, 90% on Jing or, you know, 75% on Qi, you always include herbs for all three. You can take one formula that addresses all three, or you can take three formulas, one for Jing and one for Qi and one for Shen, right? Um, so that you're getting like even more of this building up your whole your whole potential. Um, and another thing that we often add in in tonic herbalism is something called protection. And that would be herbs that are um, help with your immune system, you know, something like reishi mushroom, like a great protective herb. So Jing Chi Shen protection. And I will tell you something about the herbs that are used for this. They are adaptogenic. Exactly. Let's shine our lights. I mean, I really feel like the world needs midlife women and women at midlife and af after midlife, it needs us to be at our best so that we can be this wise presence in the world, right? We are like mothering, we are guiding, we are mentoring, we are leading, we are setting examples. If we're all just kind of like offline because of hormonal brain fog and because we're not sleeping, the world is not going to benefit and go down the best path. And so big picture, that's really kind of like my secret agenda is to help menopausal women to feel better so that they can be their best selves in the world. So I guess it's not exactly a, a hidden agenda since I just told you about it, but um, it's something that I'm always thinking about. And so uh, anyway, what was I just saying? I lost my train of thought. We were talking about Jing, Qi, Shen. Oh yeah, adaptogenic. So the herbs used for this are adaptogenic. Um, and that comes back to what I was talking about at the beginning, that whatever kind of stress you encounter, you adapt to it and you handle it really well. So one of the things about these herbs is that they don't drive your energies in one direction. Like if your blood pressure is high, these herbs will help bring it down. If your blood pressure is low, they will help bring it up. That's why they're safe to take long term and they strengthen your regulatory mechanisms and that has an incredible benefit when those become really powerful and they're working really well. You don't get thrown off balance. You get stressed, but you don't go into anxiety. You are so stable. You don't get thrown off balance up or down 
in any way. You just always come right back to balance and to center. Strengthening your regulatory me mechanisms with adaptogens, that's what it's for. It's kind of like the immune system is an easy way to understand it. If your immune system is overactive, you have allergies, you have autoimmune disease, your immune system is working all the time. It's turned on all the time. So when you need it to fight an infection or cancer or something, it's, it's depleted right? So what you want is you want it to be well-regulated. You want it to have lots of energy reserves, but not be turning on when it does not need to, to be evaluating every situation in a very good way and say, okay, we really need to respond to this. Let's take care of it efficiently. It's done. We turn back off, right? That's what you want for your immune system and all your other systems. So it's not something, you know, women come to me saying, oh, I want help strengthening my regulatory mechanisms. No, they're like, you know, I can't sleep through the night. But this is what I'm thinking behind the scenes. And this is the power behind the vital aging formulas, core formulas in my online herbal program in the section on postmenopause. So if you are thinking about joining the program and you're already past menopause and you're like, why should I pay for this program where most of it is stuff I'm never going to use? Don't even worry about that because the section on postmenopause is so powerful and so worth it because it's got everything we just talked about, about tonic herbalism, that's all built into it. And it's completely customizable. You can have that one simple, you know, formula, minimal budget for this, minimal effort every day. You know, you just take herbs even once a day just to give that support. Or you can have a full on, you know, a formula for Jing, a formula Qi, a formula for Shen, a formula for protection. You might have something extra for something that you want to enhance even more, your libido or something. So you can build out your program as much or little as you want, but it's all there and it's all based on these three treasures formulas. Okay, so those are the three women that I was thinking about when I created my online herbal program that's particularly suited for. So I was saying earlier, if you go on the course info and enrollment page and you go through this little... Um, little quiz thing right here where it says um, a simple formula to find out if this course is right for you. If you check off boxes in the no column, you shouldn't enroll. It's not for you. I don't want you in if it's not right. But if you check two or more boxes in the yes column, then there's a good chance that it's going to be particularly good for you and then it's going to be hard to find other things like it. So you should definitely read the rest of the page, read through the FAQ, the frequently asked questions. Oh, what did I just do? Um, sorry, you should, I meant to do that. You should um, watch the video at the top of the page and then you should just contact me. You should contact me and let me know if you have any questions. We can chat one-on-one -on -one because starting June 1st, enrollment is closed and I am going to be working closely with a new group of students for a few months on these Chinese herbs and I'm so excited about it. Now, does anybody else have any questions you'd like me to answer before I sign off? Let me check my notes and see if there was anything else I wanted to talk about. Yeah, so I talked about the three women that were a perfect match for the program haven't started menopause yet, right in the middle of menopause or post-menopause. And I also wanted to mention, um, just to say, I talked a little bit about the immune system, but in the program, this is not usually included, but right now because of COVID, I included a special mini course on herbs for the immune system that's actually quite comprehensive. Um, it's herbs to use to prevent getting sick long term when you're well, to strengthen the immune system in a safe and adaptogenic way. It has herbs to use if you're fighting something off like a cold, you get the tickle, you get the sore throat, and then it has herbs to use if you were to get a respiratory infection um, to help support you through not only the infection but the recovery. Because you know modern medicine doesn't work very well on viral illnesses, plant medicine is totally the way to go. It's amazing. So if you enroll um, in the next couple of days through May 31st is only when enrollment is open until you will get that whole immune mini course included for free. And that's not usually the case. So it's a really special time to enroll. So if anyone has any questions about your hormones or about herbs or about the program or anything like that, let me know. And when you go to the course info and enrollment page, I'll just show you that you also are gonna see this little ask a question icon, the little pinky peach thing. And you can, that's gonna be on the page. Oh, sorry, I'm still getting used to, uh, to using this. That's gonna be on the page no matter, um, Sorry, what did I just do? It's going to be on the page no matter what part of the page you're on is all I'm trying to say, right? So when you scroll on the page, you're always going to see that pinky peach icon. These are the FAQ, by the way, where you just kind of 
click on them to see the answer and they expand. But that ask a question icon is always going to be there. So if you have any questions, just contact me directly and we'll, uh, we'll talk it out. All right, you guys, if nobody else has any more questions, I'm going to wrap it up. But um, I had so much fun. I'm so psyched. So did anybody else who was on here say if they um, had heard about tonic herbalism before? Yeah, I know. Isn't the candle like the best analogy for that? I remember when I first heard about that, the jing is the wax, how when it's not lit, it's pure potential, but it just sits there like a lump doing nothing. And I love that image of how the chi and the jing work together. Like obviously if you have more wax, your candle's going to burn for longer. That is directly equivalent to you. If you have more and you have more energy reserves, you are going to live for longer. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like your life. Um, anyway, I love that analogy. It really is great. I didn't make it up, you know, but I love it. So I I'm glad if that helped you um, understand. Actually, I, I got a message from someone um, just uh, yesterday who said, you know. I already am on, you know, I work with a functional nutritionist and I'm on this great diet and I'm taking supplements. And um, so if I start herbs, how is that different from the supplements? And am I going to become dependent on the herbs and have to pay every month for herbs like for the rest of my life? Or is something I can just take for a little while and then I don't have to take anymore? So I wrote her an email. I hope she watches this live video about, you know, yes, you can take them just when you're having like breakthrough hot flashes and then you can stop when the hot flashes are gone but you'll be missing out on the whole other part, which is the preventative wellness longevity benefits um, of the tonic herbal perspective. So you can use them either way, but it's not like you become dependent on them. And I said to her, I said, the more you use them, the less you need them, but they can continue to give you more and more and more benefit um, if you stick with them in a pr protective preventative wellness kind of way, helping you look and feel younger for a whole heck of a lot longer. All right, you guys, well, it's been so fun hanging out with you. I always love it. I am going to be back um, tomorrow one more time live on Facebook. If you check that page out and you have a Dana Lavoie, lac.com forward slash herbs dash course, they put it in the comments and you have some questions, you can contact me directly or I'm going to be back here at three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And then Sunday, I'm going to be on the chat so that icon will actually become a live chat where we can just check chat on the spot if you have any questions about enrolling because after May 31st, enrollment will be closed. I will be working with a new group of students for a few months. Um, and when enrollment reopens um, later in the year, then it won't have the immune mini course. And also I had uh, delayed raising the price on this new version of the course um, because of COVID. So that'll be happening next time too. So if you're the least bit interested, even though there's only a couple days left, it is a really great time to get in. You get lifetime access to the course. All right. Thanks. It was Angela. I'm so glad that your sister sent you a message and um, there's tons more stuff on the blog. I've got so much material. So if you have any questions, let me know. And you might want to, um, if you message me, I can message you back uh, the link to some of the, the blog posts I've done on sleep during menopause if you're interested uh, because there are some good ones on there. Though there's, there's nothing um, in them that's going to help as much as customized herbs, but they help you to understand how it all works. And they have all those good sleep habits I was talking about. All right, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. It was awesome. If replay viewers, if you have any follow-up questions, just put them in the comments and I'll come back and answer them. I'm Dana Lavoie. I'm an acupuncturist and herbalist. I help women feel amazing during and after menopause using customized Chinese herbs supported by the best diet and lifestyle for their hormones. Um, I find that combination is pretty much the magic key. So anyway, it's been fun and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.